so children now let us talk about the last topic which is atmospheric pressure you all know that air is all around us this envelope of air is known as atmosphere the atmospheric air extends up to many kilometers above the surface of the earth so like all gases air also has weight and hence it exerts pressure therefore force exerted by this atmosphere on a unit area is known as atmospheric pressure now we know that pressure is equal to force upon area if we take a unit area and a very long cylinder standing on it which is filled with air then the weight of air in this cylinder is known as atmospheric pressure now let us see how large or small the atmospheric pressure can be with the help of an example is case mein hum log ek sakar ke example ko le rahe hain jaise hi hum sakar ko kisi table pe press karte hain to maximum air jo sakar aur surface ke beech mein hoti hai wo escape kar jati hai jiski wajah se sakar सरफेस पे फिक्स हो जाता है ये सब एटमॉस्फेरिक प्रेशर की वजह से हो रहा है लेकिन जब हम उस सकर को सरफेस से हटाने की कोशिश करेंगे तो हम लोग को कम से कम उतनी फोर्स लगानी पड़ेगी जो कि ओवरकम कर सके एटमॉस्फेरिक प्रेशर जो सरफेस और सकर के बीच में था इनफैक्ट it would not be possible to pull the sucker off the surface if there was no air at all between the sucker and the surface now does it give you an idea how large the atmospheric pressure is the weight of the air in a column of the height of the atmosphere and the area of 10 cm into 10 cm is as large as 1000 kg now every person is under a pressure of air equal to the weight of almost two elephants then how are we able to stand so much of weight and why is it not pressing us down this is due to the breathing which creates air pressure inside our bodies to develop the atmospheric pressure now the pressure inside our body is equal to the atmospheric pressure and cancels the pressure from outside so with this children we have completed the chapter